everything that I've seen from DC fandom has been mind blowing. Like, I'm excited for it all. The fact that they say this trailer for last, I hated them for doing that. But it's smart because that they knew people knew that's what everyone wanted to see the most. Because I think this movie comes out in I think summer of next year. Oh no, it's it March they moved the date up. Oh snap. But Batman is by far my favorite superhero from DC and Marvel in general, man. If I could show y'all I have like a whole thing of pops right here in this shelf. I think I have a whole like shelf just to Batman pops alone. He's my favorite hero. That's why we got Heath Ledger back there as well, Joker. Not just because it's an iconic role he played, but the kid, the Joker and Batman go hand in hand, man. And I absolutely love Batman as a superhero and his villains role. I love the video games, anything that's related to Batman. I absolutely instantly love, you know, and I love all the interpretations of him too, from Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, uh, Ben Affleck, and now Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson seems to be taking a darker tone approach to him, maybe more violent, and he's kind of following the um, the year one Batman story arc as well. So he's kind of new to being Bruce Wayne is kind of new to being Batman still. So, but I've been looking forward to this the most. The first trailer was mind blowing, like absolutely mind blowing. So I'm excited for this one. If you guys have been enjoying these DC fandom uh, trailer reactions, y'all know what to do by this point. Hit that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for new. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the trailer, and my reaction to it. Let me know what your favorite trailer from DC fandom was. And if you want to join my this uh, my Discord, all you gotta do is click that link in the description. You'll be able to join. Other than that, the Batman official trailer, number two. Police! Hands up! Is this the Riddler? Stay still! Get out of here! It is, it is. I remember seeing this coffee cup image. When that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. People are really wanting these to be Joker thugs. I don't think they are. I think they're more like Penguin thugs. Cause I know, like in the uh, Arkham games, every their every main villain has their own set of thugs. And Penguin thugs in that game either have like black mask or white face painting. And I know the Joker does too, but Joker, I think, Joker thugs look more like clowns than they do uh, kind of like mobster thugs, like the Penguin. You know what I mean? So, but dude, the music that they use for these past two trailers are incredible taste. And I think really captures the Batman interpretation they're going for this time around. That's a warning. Armor. Oh yeah, he's angry. I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun. This is about a king and Rithers to match. I can take care of myself. Sweet Akai. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care what happens to me. I don't know what his name is. But that's the same dude who directed uh, the new Venom 2. And he also played um, Claw, and Claude or whatever. I don't remember what his name was in the Avenger and Black Panther. But he was in Black Panther as well. I think he, I, honestly, I think, I thought he was going to be a good Alfred from the start. Like, Alfred's another character, uh, such an iconic character in the DC Universe as well. I think everyone who's played him as well has done an amazing job. Like, they had the same actor 
for all four movies from the no- 80s to 90s like playing Alfred I don't know what his name was in the Batman tri- in the Dark Knight trilogy but he played a good Batman Alfred and then I kind of like the more creator like um engineer take of Alfred that they did in the DCEU like every- Alfred is another great character that I think every actor is really killed and this dude Andy Serkis or I don't know how his name is pronounced but this dude is a, I think going to be a great one too if this continues it won't be long before you have nothing left I don't care what happens to me it's only going to get worse for you whoa take it easy sweetheart hear everything they say ain't you Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? Wow, guns are literally doing nothing. I'm vengeance. What's black? other than that there is no other way you could close DC fandom out other than that so if you had no confidence in Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne Batman at, at first I think this is proof that he's gonna kill it like he he looks he seems to be the most realistic dark twisted take on the character then even past the comics you know what I mean like I, I've been excited for this one man I've been excited and I, I know people are getting tired of Batman being um uh what is it called revived like and done over like millions of times kind of like people were with Spider-Man when they announced a new Spider-Man was coming but every there's something unique about every take of Batman that you gotta appreciate. You gotta appreciate the darker tone and more um, unique take from like the '89 to eight from Batman from Batman Returns. You gotta appreciate the funny and stupid, wacky movies of Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, the uh, advanced cinematography of the Dark Knight trilogy, um, even Ben Affleck's take was probably one of the most comic accurate takes on Batman and although he like wasn't introduced in the best ways I still believe a Batman solo Ben Affleck Batman solo movie is would be dope especially with Deathstroke like old man Batman versus old man Deathstroke I think that would be awesome uh, movie to see especially because like I said Ben Affleck is probably the most interpret the most comic accurate interpret of Batman so far and the fact that he was so much more he was so much more heroic and like the Zack Snyder cut compared to the original um but I'm definitely excited for this overall DC's finna really take over next year DC's really finna take over like I'm still gonna rock with Marvel but Marvel don't drop something soon for the fans DC gonna take over completely like for real but uh, let me know what you guys thought about that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed these DC fandom reactions, y'all know what to do by this point. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you were, what excited you the most, what you're looking forward to the most. Um, share your thoughts and opinions in the comments as well. Share this with more people who are looking forward to the Batman. When it comes out in March, I'm so happy they moved the date up. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank y'all for watching. 
See you guys next time.